So for those of you who've been following me for a little while, you'll know that I haven't been as active posting on stories, haven't been as active posting on YouTube over the last month or so. And there's a couple of reasons why this actually happened. And I wanted to share these with you. They're a little bit more personal reasons, stuff that I haven't really felt truly comfortable speaking about in the past. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could just bear with me and watch all the way to the end. So to give a little bit of backstory really quickly, my name is Carl Hinkson, the creator of Footy Tutor. I'm a 23 year old, Old, aspiring professional footballer living on the small beautiful country of Barbados so at the age of 23 having left college last year I kind of made the executive decision to dedicate all of 2020 honestly to trying to sign a professional contract and trying to start my own business now my reasons for doing this was because obviously at the age of 23 I've just graduated from playing four years of college soccer I've dedicated the last 12 13 14 years of my life to football and I was just thinking if I could take a year and just absolutely go 100% after my goal um, try to see how much I can improve in this year how much exposure I can create for myself and if I can get my foot in the door with a professional team then that would make all of the years that I put into it absolutely worth it and then I could be able to take a step uh, towards becoming you know what I mean a professional player because I mean, the best version of myself on and off the field basically but also having played at the college level showed me that I can dedicate time to becoming a professional and I'll still have enough time in the day to basically further myself to create some kind of a side hustle that I could use to generate some kind of income probably that would help you know what I mean facilitate and make my life going pro a whole lot easier but this created a little bit of a predicament for me because as I moved forward in the creation of my business, which by the way is an Instagram consulting agency, I started to have kind of a little bit of an identity crisis because I had seen myself as nothing more than a student and a footballer for so long that when I really tried to step into the entrepreneurial world, it was kind of huge imposter syndrome. I was thinking, People in the entrepreneurial world are gonna see me as just this athlete who doesn't know what he's doing and like I'm still also not established within the athletic realm and I didn't want to give people the impression that I was kind of faking it that I wasn't putting in enough that was needed to become a professional and I was just focusing on trying to build a business so for some of you it might sound like a little bit of a nothing issue but I know for me it was definitely a little bit of paralysis by analysis just maybe thinking a little bit too much about exactly how I'm gonna be be perceived and how everything that I'm doing is going to be perceived but it really put the brakes on me like truly going after you know what I mean trying to get new clients trying to document each and every single day of what I'm doing both on and off the field but having worked through that stuff and really coming back to my main purpose which was honestly to show you guys to show people out there that it is possible that you can try to become a professional athlete and also do something on the side which you know can promote your growth it's probably even a better idea that you do have a second option because football is such a short career it happens so quickly and there's always the rest of your life out there for pursuing something that you love now the second thing that's really been kind of putting the brakes on me going forward and absolutely documenting my journey and being a whole lot more visible on social media in general is that there is a possibility that what you're doing, you can fail, you know what I mean? It's that fear factor. It's the reality of life that I could try really, really hard and do everything within my power for the next year to 18 months and still not sign a professional contract. And honestly, the fear of failure in public is something that would be hard for, I think, anyone to grasp, you know what I mean? I don't really think that that's something that is irrational for me for thinking about. But that being said, I've always been a person who has been truly about showing both the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs of whatever I do. I want to be the person to have like as real of a documentation as possible to show people that life isn't always, you know what I mean, roses, it isn't always like get up and get after your dreams every single day. Like there are periods where you go through um, low phases where like I don't feel like doing absolutely anything. And um, you know what I mean? It's just these thoughts, these shortcomings, these, I, I don't know if you might call them irrational fears that have held me back from like absolutely like diving in and just documenting my journey as I go ahead. So now I don't want to make this video too long. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick summary of where I've been, kind of what I've been working through. And um, I also plan to make a lot more videos like this just to face one-on-one -on -one, kind of catching you up on where I am maybe take you guys behind the scenes with some vlog style videos 
but also making videos that obviously provide value to you guys and help you guys to take your games to the next level. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this video and also what videos you'd like to see in the future. If you've watched this far into the video and you like my vibe, you like the things that I'm saying, they kind of resonate with you and you're also looking to take your game to the next level, I highly recommend that you go ahead and subscribe for future videos. That's all I got for this one today, guys. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.